Oh, my God. There was a young girl and she was on the plane and as she's walking up the aisle to get to her seat, she kind of glanced to the row in front of hers and noticed quite an attractive young boy and mm. thought, oh, he's a bit cute. Anyway, she was sitting behind him and she mulled over it for a little while. In the end, she decided that, no, nah, I'm going to trust my gut instincts. And so she wrote him a note. <laughs> Oh. So the note said, if you're single slash interested, text me sometime with her phone number and a smiley face, and then it had love Natalie. Anyway, but a lot of people commented saying, oh, my God, did you do that at the beginning of the flight? Or did you do it at the end of the flight? Oh, yeah. And she said, I'm not that stupid. I did it right at the end because I couldn't sit for seven and a half hours if you rejected, <laughs> but <you> rejected. me. <laughs> well, I turned around and was like, oh, you know, that's really nice, but I'm married or I have a girlfriend or whatever. But no, next minute she gets a message on her phone saying, hi, Natalie, nice to meet you. And yes, I'm single and interested. Oh, <laughs> well, that is actually quite romantic. It is. Oh, and a lot of people are well, now no. saying, um, excuse me, where do we subscribe for relationship updates? <laughs> <laughs> I agree. And why didn't she... I don't understand why you wouldn't do it as soon as you got on the plane. If he wasn't a bad looker, you could end up in the Mile Eye Club with a bit of luck. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Well, that's a good... Huh? Yeah, I suppose oh, she, went, she looked at the negative, didn't she? I she would thought look at the positive and think, crikey, I'd rather sit with her for seven hours than myself. So what, your note would say... Hey, baby, I'm <laughs> over the... I'll meet you in hop the over toilet. The, hop over the seat, sit on my lap for a while and we'll see what pops up. Though. I'll meet you in the <laughs> toilet. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs>